Imagine your favorite dinner, complete with, say, a full-bodied glass of wine and perhaps dessert. Now imagine that you're full, but you haven't had one bite, and the scale shows it as your weight is dropping. That's the idea behind the imaginary meal drug Salk Institute researchers have been developing for human clinical trials. Here with the details are my guest, lead researcher Ron Evans, director of Salk's Gene Expression Laboratory, and Dr. Mark Jabro, a medical director specializing in obesity at Sharp Reese Steely Medical Center. And Ron, this diet pill, Fex Airmine, or Fex for short, is said to fool the body into thinking that it's had this imaginary meal and that it's full and that you lose weight. How does it do that? It triggers a natural process that occurs when you begin eating at the first bite of a meal, which is a digestion process. And digestion, besides uh, letting the food be absorbed into your body, actually there's a trigger in that process that signals the body that food's coming in. And our pill is that signal in a chemical form. So you don't need the food to actually trick the body into think that you've uh, started it, eating a meal. And the body begins to respond to that process. Let me talk specifics on this. Now, you've done 10, re 10 years of research, I understand, uh, with this drug on obese and diabetic mice. There is such right. thing. They actually lost weight while eating a high-fat, uh, high-calorie diet. Physically, if you could just briefly tell us, you know, the, the mechanism, is it working just on the nerve? Is it working uh, on the pancreas, insulin, and sugar levels as well? The signal that it triggers in the gut begins to spread throughout the body. One of the impacts is on fat that causes a certain type of fat to, to begin to burn uh, uh, energy. It's a process called thermogenesis. So it stimulates that, that uh, in the body. It also lowers insulin, lowers glucose. Uh, and so for diabetics, it has a double benefit for people who are overweight, it has another kind of benefit, and, which is weight loss. And I want to get back to that in just a sec, but I want to ask Dr. Jabro, there's only four FDA a prescription, a pr FDA approved prescription weight loss drugs here in the U.S. now. Um, how do they work in comparison to this, and what are some of their side effects? Well, the newest drug um, actually does work similar to this in that it's a gut hormone type of manipulation. It's actually a, a diabetic drug that's been reformulated to increase strength to um, improve uh, satiety um, or actually increase satiety. So that's coming. That's not quite on the market yet, but we do expect it within the next few months. The other drugs um, are all centrally acting. They work in the hypothalamus of the brain. They tend to work on the area of the brain that controls feeding and hunger and also another area of the brain that can tends to control reward eating or that impulse to eat when we're not even hungry. So in contrast to this particular drug, we're talking about drugs working in the brain and in some cases, the potential side effects of, of, of dealing with those targets. And I understand, and, and I'll ask you uh, this, Ron. So the side effects I think we're most familiar with are that these heart things that, that have happened with people taking things like Fenfen -fen in the past. What side effects does FEX have? Well, one of the advantages of FEX is it doesn't get into the body, so it doesn't touch the brain, so you don't have uh, a depression that can be linked to that, or you don't, it doesn't touch the heart, so you don't get heart effects or heart palpitations. So we like the safety feature of a drug that just goes into your gut and then it passes right through. So it just touches the process that triggers, that food would normally trigger, but it does this without needing the food. So uh, th this this leads to some, at least from what I've read, uh, some pretty rapid weight loss. Now, uh, Dr. Jabro, we've heard many of us that you should only, healthy weight loss is two pounds per week. Yeah. Is that true <clears throat> or can you actually use lose weight at any particular speed? Well, I, I think the speed really is, is if, you're, if you're monitored, we monitor patients in some of our programs and we will actually allow them to lose quite a bit faster than that. So I think if you're looking at a patient, you're looking at their labs, and you're controlling their, their intake, you can actually lose quite a bit faster. So the speed is not really indicative of the, the ability to keep it off long term. And I think you can do rapid weight loss in a, in a safe fashion. And Ron, who do you think would benefit most if this drug goes to clinical trials, if it gets approved, who would benefit most from this type of drug? Well, most people in January are thinking about this diet and they promised as one of their New Year's resolutions to try to lose weight. But I think really the people who are diabetic and obese are the classic target for this type of therapy. The morbidly obese people who really have difficulty uh, controlling appetite and weight loss would be very uh, good targets as well. All right, Ron Evans and uh, Dr. Mark Jabro, thank you so much. Thank you.